Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. I'm just uh, out here walking my cat on a leash. Wanted to do some Ask Me Anythings. I post in my group, Cener Shopify Mastermind. I let the group members post questions in there. And you can go ahead and post any question you want in there on the Ask Me Anything thread. And I'll answer it right here in an Ask Me Anything. And the first one is all about Shopify apps. What are the must install Shopify apps for a t-shirt store? I think it was Olaf in my Cener Shopify Mastermind group who asked that. Um, very minimalistic when it comes to getting started, right? You only need a couple of apps, right? Number one, you need a t-shirt print-on-demand provider. Obviously, the one that I use is Custom Cat. You can find them at cc.justincener.com. Custom Cat would be the uh, actual company that will print and obviously fulfill your t-shirt and apparel orders. And there are a number of different apps that are out there. You don't have to use Custom Cat. That's just the one that I like. So that's number one. Uh, number two, you want to have an upselling app. There's a lot of good ones out there. Boost Sales is one I like. Uh, you know, there's also the Smart Upsell Bundle. That's a nice one. Uh, so you want to have an upselling app. So upselling is basically the idea when someone adds a product to cart, right? You're going to present another item. You say, hey, uh, I see that you're interested in this item. You added it to your cart. Why don't you also add this one to cart as well? It's going to increase your average order value. And uh, another one you want to have is Mailchimp, right? If you you need to have some email marketing in there, Mailchimp is the easiest. It's free to get started, right? You can go up to 2,000 emails for free with Mailchimp. You could do something like Aweber, uh, Clavio. Uh, you could put either of those in there. Then, uh, last but not least, some kind of abandonment system. I love using Abandonment Protector. It's only like eight bucks a month or nine bucks. It's going to be uh, allow you to send up to ten thousand emails a month for that price to anyone who has abandoned their checkout. Right? Let's say someone adds a product to cart, they don't decide to finish checkout. Abandonment Protector is going to go in there, and it's actually going to send them three emails over forty-eight hours, basically trying to get them to come back. So that yeah, that app will pay for itself, uh, literally in the first couple of weeks that you have it in the store. So. Uh, you know, you could you know install 30 more apps if you want, but those are four must installs for any T-shirt print-on-demand store. All right, so the next question is from Leon. He says, uh, "What is the best way to ship something from China to a customer when you're talking about drop shipping, right?" And uh, you know, there's really only one correct answer, and it's e-packet shipping. And uh, by the way, e-packet is more than just the United States, but basically, what e-packet is, it's a shipping uh, method that's going to provide tracking information, right? That's the key. If you use China Post or any of these other kind of cheaper, weird ones, uh, there's just not going to be any tracking information, which means you're, have a, you're going to have an annoyed customer, and you're also going to lose any chargeback that you might get in in terms of disputes or anything like that. So ePacket is going to provide you uh, tracking information, right? And it works with the United States and uh, Great Britain, Australia, Canada, right? Pretty, uh, pretty much any of the big countries, 30 countries, work with ePacket. You can see I have a nice article on my blog, justincener.com. I break down ePacket shipping in really all the different countries that you can use, but it's typically going to take you know uh, about nine to fifteen days to get to your customer using e-packet shipping to the United States. But it's by far the best and really the only way that you want to ship when you're doing drop shipping from China. So I also have a good follow-up question from Hussam. He says, "What's the best way to show the shipping times when you're doing stuff like from AliExpress or from China? Right? How could you actually go and tell the customer that it's going to be you know that nine to fifteen days shipping to get uh, you know the product from China to their doorstep?" I like putting it in a couple different sections. And again, you want to put it in as many sections as possible just to be upfront uh, with the customer. And so you could reference stuff when they say, hey, you know, uh, how long is shipping? You say, hey, it's right here. And for me, it's FAQ page, uh, shipping page, order confirmation page, and probably most importantly, order confirmation email. And you can customize the order confirmation email without you know, needing to touch any code or anything like that. Inside of the MailChimp settings, it's under the main settings and then notifications. You go in there and change it. Just make it, you know, have something uh, including in there It says, uh, you know, uh, please allow 9 to 15 days for shipping, uh, something like that. You can still provide them with tracking information, remember, because you're going to use e-packet shipping, <clears throat> which has the tracking. But uh, yeah, uh, put it, in my case, that's four different places, right? You can put it as many places. I don't recommend putting it on the ad, right? I don't think you need to put it on the ad, but otherwise, FAQ and order confirmation would be great places to disclose that shipping time from China.